everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. So I know I said I wasn't going to make you watch um, the start of day 24, we were just going to go straight to the evening, and we will in a second. Uh, but something I just checked very, very quickly just now, uh, I woke up straight away and I pulled off the vent just to see what kind of percentage it had left, and it goes, it's gone. So I guess during day 24, as in like the middle of the day, um, I'm going to be trying to make another fake vent to obviously replace and cover that over. But to be fair, if I'm not the evening roll call check and there's a bed dummy in, I'm fairly certain they're not going to bother coming into my room to check on that. So it, it's, it's still up there now. I've left it in the roof. It just means that the next time I go up there, the hole is going to be exposed. So that's just something to bear in mind. So it will mean that we have to find ourselves two lots of super glue and two lots of toilet roll as well. And I believe I might actually have uh, one of each. Or at least I think, I think I've got at least one super glue um, that's stuck up in the roof at the moment. So let's just quickly go and check what kind of inventory we've got and try and figure this out. Uh, so yeah, we've got one super glue there, which is great. We just need one more and then the plan will be secure. And I'm fairly certain there is one upstairs. Let me just check. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There may well be one off shot off the camera. Should I just quickly go and check? I might as well. Um, no, there is not. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, I might as well grab that back and jump down here. Um, let me just check that I do have everything whilst we're doing a little quick check of things. Um, let's see. So if we make the boat with that, great, that's that's that sorted. And then the only other thing we need is the crowbars, don't we, to make the grapple hook. So I guess if we have like that there, that would become the grapple hook head. That's cool, that's check. And that is check as well. Great, and obviously a bed rope, sheet rope, whatever you want to call it, would be ready to go. Um, yeah, I think basically by the looks of it, everything is groovy. And obviously we've got the red key as well. Wherever I've decided to put that, it's all the way over this side. Okay, cool. I'm going to drop you just here. Now, my only problem is going to be when I drop back down, the camera is going to be activated. So I need to be really quick like that. Yes. Because basically what I need to do is I need to stop them from coming to the room. I don't think the camera notices the open vent. It's only the guards that will see it. So as long as I keep them away from here for now, <laughs> we're going to be okay. So I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to leave you there for a second. When you come back, I'll have either found another bit of super glue, which will be great to make the second vent. Or it'll be evening time and we'll be ready to break out if we're lucky enough to get through the whole of today without any checks. Oh, a flashlight. Uh, <laughs> I'm really certain I got rid of that job. I will take it. But I'm pretty sure I got rid of it. Let me have a quick look. Uh, where was it? I did. I was like, no, I'm never going to find a flashlight. Stupid me. Stupid, stupid me. And I also found a cup, which is quite nice. So we've got a cup and a chocolate bar. Not that we particularly need them. Um, and then I guess, yeah, we're back on the hunt for another bit of super glue. Oh, Malfoy's die on Simon. Somebody did the work for me. Thank you very much. Got some more talcum powder as well. So I basically have the ingredients in place in case we discover today that there is another key that's necessary for the plan that I'm uh, trying to recreate. Uh, lighter as well for the hot chocolate. Sure, I'll buy it. Um, now, is there anybody else selling items? I'd like to think that we've got one more seller right now. Malfoy and Sparkles are getting checked. Okay, this is good. This is really, really good. We've only got one more roll call to get through without our name coming up, um, and we'll be happy. Unless we can get another bit of super glue before then, and then I'll be triple happy, double happy, super happy. All the happies in the world, and we might be able to get out of here. Nope. Ow! Oh, jeez. I was just about to say, nope. All the rooms are empty. Didn't get a chance to get a single syllable out. <laughs> so, right, I've checked all the rooms. There's no super glue in any of those. So we've got to keep our fingers crossed that either somebody is holding some or somebody will be selling some. And now, like three episodes later, suddenly we're getting double crowbar sales. We had that triple balsa sale as well, didn't we? Like the balsa wood, free crowbars. Oh my god, where was this like two episodes ago? This is nuts. I guess the only thing that's left for us to do now then is to just beat up people in the hopes that they will have super glue on them that they're going to drop. Uh, let's try Eddie out. Here we go. We're going to run into here and Eddie's going to give us a little wallop. Oh, no, it was stripping. Sorry. I thought it was Eddie. Uh, let's see. File, playing cards. No, that's not what I want. Uh, let's try you. Oh, God. Usually that works a little bit better. There you go. All right, cool. Is he going to come over this way? Oh, he is. He is. There you go. Toby desist. Thank you. No, nothing on you either. Okay. All right. It's evening roll call. This is do or die, everybody. Let's find out if we're going to get checked. If we are getting checked, then it's game over. And I have to replay this day again in the hopes of finding one bit of super glue. Paul isn't selling what we want. Is that an identical shop? 
Oh no, it's nearly identical. Near identical, okay. Uh, let's see what's going on. The Cretans about to get their cell search star. Toby and John, that makes me a very happy boy. One thing I might do very quickly first then is get my heat rating down to a Zeho. Because that'll be really nice for us to have. Uh, and then I've got toothpaste to obviously put out the camera. I will need a sheet rope, which I can definitely make right now. All of this stuff is going to go in. Everything else that's naughty is in the roof already, which is fantastic. Um, and then I think other than that, we are all good. Um, I do just want to quickly like move some items around there. I want 100% toothpaste, bed dummy to go in the bed. Everything else can sit inside of the desk. Uh, I will bring some food with me as well. Why not? Not that I foresee is really using any kind of fatigue, but... Um, this will be interesting to see how this plays out. So that is us all rearing and ready to go, I think. Yeah, looks good to me. I'm just going to drop these so we've got a nice little hot bar of sorts. And here we go. Our first legit attempt at escaping from HMP Iron Gate. Now, remember, we do have to wait until midnight. So I'm going to wait in my room until then, until the snipers have all gone home. Or I think it's at least until the torches come on. Not sure it's quite midnight. All right, well, it looks like the torches are on, which I'm going to assume is my signal to leave. So here we go. Uh, we're going to jump up into the rooftop, and then we need to decide which items we're going to bring with us. So we are going to need the red key for show. We're going to need the boat. We're going to need the grapple hook. Um, did I bring my sheet rope? I don't think I ended up making one of those, did I? Oh, rubbish. Hold on a second. Do I have the stuff to make one? I do, actually. Very, very quickly, though. Um, I just need to quickly get stuff out of the bed. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Here you go. Sheet rope. Let's quickly throw that together. Good. All right. Fantastic. Uh, bed dummy is going to go in. What are you doing in here? What was that? What was that? Did the camera spot me? I thought the camera was still dead. Oh, you are having a giraffe. I'm going to have to review that footage. I'm fairly certain the camera hadn't flagged anything up. I thought it was still gone. What a load of rubbish. I just watched the footage back, everybody. And yeah, the, the, the camera did not go off. The guard had no reason to come into the room. Um, he might have just like shone his light on the door and saw a silhouette of a boat, I guess. But, oh, God. So annoying. So anyway, got to play through this again. I'll see you tonight. Oh, another super glue. Oh, yes. Okay. This might be why everything went so terribly the first time around, because it was going to treat us on the second run. Oh, that is brilliant. Okay. Uh, so what we do need then is two lots of toilet paper. <laughs> so uh, that can go in. I'm going to keep 100% uh, toothpaste out, which will be that one. Um, and then I guess, yeah, I just need one more bit of bog roll, and I can make ourselves a fresh fake vent, which is brilliant. Uh, so I'm going to pop together the first bit of paper mache. Yes, okay, you're gonna go in then we need one more piece of paper mache or at least one more piece of toilet paper to make this happen Oh, there you go. I'm fairly certain there should just be one in every single desk. Yeah, so there is all right cool one two Freddy's coming for you and then Three four better lock your prison door and cover up your vent. There you are. Okay, let's get to work before I get told off. <laughs> and now I will see you tonight. All right, evening roll call, day 24, take two. There you go, <laughs> little clap sync. Not for anything in particular, I don't have a face cam on or anything, but two is getting checked, Anton Trot. Wonder bar. Okay, so I've amended a couple of problems from yesterday's plan, um, which is totally fine. <laughs> so we're not going to jump down from the ceiling. We're going to get up there, and we're going to bloody stay up there this time, all right? That's the only reason we got caught before. So I have a sheet rope. I have a bed dummy. I have a fake vent cover. I've got two bars of chocolate that I can take up there, um, and that, I guess, is all I need. Everything is groovy. I did a little bit of stat raising. I got my thing up to, like, 63, and we've got 90 intellect as well to make sure um, that I can do everything. So here here we go. Balls. Ah, balls, 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 balls. I've just realized, everybody, uh, a <laughs> really big problem. Oh, sugar. I don't have any toothpaste. I don't have any toothpaste to knock out that camera right now, which means the guards will come to this room. I mean, I have some in the ceiling, I think. Hold on, let me just jump up again. I need to do it when the camera's not looking. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, I just can't catch a break. There is some toothpaste right there. So I guess when the camera isn't looking, I've got to hop up, grab the toothpaste, come down, kill the camera, then put the bed dummy down, uh, which isn't really ideal. Oh, no, my inventory's full. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, four. Good. Oh, wow. That was a nightmare. Sure. And apparently that vent cover still lives. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Are you... Ah. Oh, God, no. Oh, please. 
please. No. <laughs> oh, every time there's one fucking thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, prison escape, HMP, Iron Gate, take three or four. I don't know. Clap. There you go. Three or four, whatever. Uh, let's have another dabble at this. So, I have a fake vent cover ready to put over the one that is very likely to go wrong. Sips and Simon are both getting checked, which is great for us. There is plenty of toothpaste in my desk. <laughs> um, I do have a bed dummy. I have a sheet rope. I have the vent cover. Um, and there is all the toothpaste that I would ever possibly need. So, this is all going well for us. Let's see if we can not balls this one up, yeah? We've not even managed to even get outside of the vents without having some go wrong this is how scrubby i am at this game uh <laughs> so yeah let's have a go part of me is wondering actually oh, should I, I every time i have an idea it always goes south i'm tempted just to right now just do this this jump up into the vent before anything else could possibly go wrong there you go i'm out of sight out of mind there's a dummy in the bed nobody's gonna know the difference are they <laughs> I really hope not. So let's get ourselves prepared then. So we want to take off our clothes because that is the first part of any plan. Whether you're making babies or whether you're escaping out of a very high uh, level security prison, it, it's great to take your clothes off to begin with. So we've got those bits. We do need the lightweight cutters, which are currently sat on 40%. I would very much like to make those a bit stronger. So you're going to become sturdy cutters because so far we need a guard outfit check. We need a red key to get through uh, the fence gate as well as the door into the place where we're going to climb up a ladder. Uh, we need the boat to get the hell out of here, so I need to turn you into the real deal. Good stuff. And then I need to make this crowbar and some duct tape and another crowbar into one of those. And then I've got enough duct tape and enough rope left over to make that into a grapple hook. Uh, oh, no, it's just those two, isn't it? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, you're kidding me! I don't believe this. I really, really don't believe this. Let's try and recover this. I think we can recover this. I think if... I think if we have the guard outfit on, I think if we were to take... Is it? It's, it's just those two, isn't it? Just one, two, and then that. All right, okay, two more into that. Great, it's just getting worse. So I'm thinking if I do this, I think I can get into the library with the staff key. I've got the cell key to get out of my room. So, get out of our room, get through the doors and all that sort of crap. We've got a grapple hook ready to go. We've got the boat and some cutters. Sure. Oh, God's sake, this is not going well, is it? Okay, hold on. Let me just drop. I need to drop down from the roof and turn the camera off, first and foremost. So, number four key on my finger. There you go. All right, let's quickly jump up. Key down. I'm just going to drop that there quickly. Up, want. Oh, uh, uh, God, yep. Drop the key there. Quickly, before a guard comes, there you go. Jump up onto there, five. All right, let's try and resume the plan from here. I think it might be possible, I think. So, second yellow key can go. All right, so out here we get. Through there we go. Oh, God, the detectors have gone off. Oh, bugger me. Bugger me, bugger me, bugger me, bugger me, bugger me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, I really want to hope that they don't see me now. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Oh, God. How many times can I mess this up in one episode? It's absurd. It really is absurd. Oh, God, please don't come here. Oh, sugar. If he sees me once, I'm done for. Please don't come in the library. Nobody come in the library. Nobody likes to read. Oh, God. That's it. Just wait here. Wait for your heat to get down to like 80-ish percent. If it jumps into that 90, because it goes up by 1 or 2%, doesn't it, each time that a guard sees me. Oh, God. It's 1 a.m., so it means the snipers have definitely gone home. If we can use the red key to go out the main door, then use it to go through the fence door, and then go through the thing, we might still be on track here. We might be. But this is not how I saw this playing out at all. I don't want to leave it too late. I just really want to make sure that my heat is low enough so if I get spotted once or twice, then it's not going to be a big issue because there are a lot of guards in this place. Okay, I think 75% is going to be good. Let's just go for it. Screw this. Oh, no, of course, because it just goes back up the moment I step out the door. All right, let's just go for this. Screw it. We're gone. We're going. We're going. Uh, now, it was something here. It was one of these rooms. Right, yeah, it was this thing here. 
jump onto the roof, go all the way along, and then use the cutters on this thing. I've never done this part before. This is all brand new to me, everybody. I didn't bring the sheet rope. I'm really hoping the sheet rope wasn't what I needed. If it is, then I'm royally screwed, and we've absolutely done give this whole thing. But I imagine this wall would be higher than anything else, wouldn't it? Uh, let's please work grab gravel hook. Yes! Oh, yes! And then we just run across the here, jump on our boat, and we see Sayonara. I don't know why specifically he went this far in the video, but I think that's what you have to do. Um, yeah, like right there on the bay. Jump onto the thing. How do I use it? Oh, I've done it. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Oh, the great escape and achievement unlocks. We finally got out of HMP Iron Gate. Yes. There we go. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, sorry that was such a stressful attempt at getting out of prison. <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong did on numerous occasions, and even on the successful one, it was just a, a terrible, terrible affair. Well, thanks for watching. Um, in the comment section below, I know I mentioned this in the last episode as well, but which prison are we going to hit up next? Is it going to be First Peak? Is it going to be Camp Epsilon? Or is it going to be that other one? Um, I'll probably link the same straw poll that I mentioned yesterday in this video as well. Place your votes and I'll play through uh, the next one, whichever gets voted highest. I'll see you then. Bye-bye!